Hi everyone. So now we will implement stack navigation in the React Native. And guys, if you are not aware, like what is uh, stack navigation, what is navigation and all, then I'll recommend you to watch our previous video. Link is given in the description box with the playlist. There we already discussed like uh, what is navigation, how navigation works, and types of navigation and all. Right? That was a theoretical part, and you will get to know everything uh, that you have to know uh, before starting with the navigation. And there. Uh, in this video, we will uh, implement the practical example of the stack navigation. So, firstly, we will install the React navigation. Yeah, you can say that why not React native navigation? See, uh, the official name is basically React navigation, but this is always used inside the React native applications. All right. So, firstly, we will install that. After that, we have to install uh, dependencies and stack navigation also. Yes. Navigation and stack navigation are the two different package, two different npm package. You can say that. All right. After that, we will create a navigation wrapper to our application, and uh, then we will create two components. And these two components will behave like a different screens. Like a login component will behave like a login screen, and home component will behave like a home screen. And uh, then on the button press, we will uh, navigate the screen from. one screen to the another screen all right and at last we will discuss some important questions also so now let's uh, just go to the official website of react navigation right why i am going on the official website because i just want to show the installation process uh, with the official way right because if you will directly copy the command from there na then that will be good otherwise maybe if you just miss the uh, miss the at the rate or something then maybe there will be error and all so installation i will show you with the official documentation and after that uh, we will implement the example and in example we will not copy and paste every uh, anything we will just copy and paste command for installation there right so i am just copying this command and uh, i'm just uh, pasting inside the my project and keep in mind it should be in your project if you are just running this command anywhere then uh, it will not work right just keep in mind that so just open your project and just run this command after that you have to uh, install some dependencies also and guys if you are using uh, expo to just check the output then you can run this command npm expo and all uh, expo and all but if you are using an um, android emulator or uh, ios emulator like this here you can see that on my screen right then you can use that below command all right so let me just copy this command and i am pasting it over there and after that once they both will be installed let's uh, just directly jump on the hello navigation and there you will find one more package which is navigation stack let's copy this one also and paste it there right after installing all of these three package we have to run npx react native run android command if you are using uh, uh, if you are currently using uh, android emulator and if you are using the ios then you have to use npx uh, react native run ios so i am using here for a moment android emulator so running there run android command and it will take some moment uh, because it have uh, it will download some dependencies from internet also so it's depend on your system configuration as well as your internet speed also so perfect uh, everything is installed now that we have to install and build is also successfully done so now what we have to do we can jump on the code and we don't need this explorer so i am just hiding over there so that we have more area to code and first of all you have to import uh, the navigation container from react navigation native so this import something from iterate react navigation native and uh, let's simply import their navigation uh, container so navigation container is there right and uh, i am just removing this text i don't need it at all so i am using this 
navigation container as a tag you can this is basically as we are using a component but most of people just like to say that as a tag because they are look like a HTML tag right so after that we have to import the stack navigation right so I am importing there import something from uh, the rate react native uh, navigation native stack and from there we have to import create navigation stack navigator so let me import it uh, create navigation navigate stack navigator right and we have to use it like a function so let's take a uh, uh, const like stack and use like this right or you can say that we are instantiating this class there after that inside this navigation container keep in mind guys all component all of your screens whatever you want to just use inside the navigation should be registered inside this navigation container this container uh, wrapper should be on the app component your top component should be there right so now just simply use their stack dot navigator and again you can close it like this and uh, then we need some screens right it will just give some error for a moment because there's no data at all but that's okay so even you can just create these two components in the different screens also but for a moment i am just creating these screens uh in the same file and next video because uh, we will create one more video on stack navigation to just add the style to add the uh, like passing data from one screen to different screen so that time we will use the this component in the different screen so for a moment i am just uh, using their home screen creating a home document there a uh, home component there right and let's just put their return and uh, you can see that view like this right and after that let me put there some text also is there any issue let me check it i think there isn't some error actually yes i just need to put one more bracket there right all right and inside there i'm putting their home screen or something we can again format it okay so now you can register the screen inside there so for that we have to put their stack dot screen and name of the screen like what name we want to give that screen so i want to give a home and after that component which component we want to register there so we want to register home component there and we have to close this uh, screen also and now you can see that we got the home screen but uh, if you you can see there like uh, there is a this is not a like good look and feel of the ui then you can definitely change the css and all in the header part also because this area is coming from the navigation so if you just put their home 3 or home 4 then you will find that this uh, uh content is actually coming from the name so you can change the name also even all right so let's say you just want to uh, make this home screen in the center and some other things want to change there then you can also there, there. let's say style flex one justified content could be center and align items again will be in the center right and after that let's say style font size could be 30 and here we go right and let's say you want to create one more uh, similar component there then just use here let's say login component we want to create there and you can put there login screen and just copy and paste the screen change the screen name let's say my second screen name is home and i want to register the home component there and now let's say you want to show the 
login screen first right because home screen is just coming for a moment then if you will just change it and refresh your application you will find the first screen will be the login there let's wait for a moment here you can see that but now the question is how we can move from one screen to another screen so let's say from the login screen you want to move on the home screen so for that i am just creating a button firstly then some title let's say go to home screen yeah we got the button now just use uh, we have to just get the probes from there right and the on press on press and let's call a function there and they will be props dot navigator navigator or not navig not navigator we have to use i guess navigation right navigation dot navigate and then we can pass something there let's say uh home we want to just go on the home because this is the which screen we have a login screen and we want to go on the home screen and then how would i know that i have to pass their home only not uh home screen home home and all because this the name of this screen is home so whatever you just give a screen name there and you want to jump on that screen then you have to give the same name is there also right so let's click on the go to home screen and here we go now we are on the home screen and we have option to go back but again you can ask one more question like we why we don't have op option for go back on the login because this is our first screen there is a no screen before that so there is a uh, you can say that no just no sense to give a back button right and uh, if we are just going to home screen to login screen so that that time we can go back because we have one more screen before that right so this is the simple and basic stack navigation and in next part we will learn that how we can pass data how we can change style how we can change header and all we will learn lots of things right so thank you so much and i'll request you to please like this video share my channel uh, subscribe my channel and um, share your feedback in comment section also and this is my paytm donation number thank you guys